on a day. Welcome to GMNS Extra with your girl, Precious. Ah, where are those things are coming? Mama Africa, prep, prep. When I go look old woman like me, finish your grey, I don't come my head. When I call and prep, prep. Hey, I go do. I miss on a day. Well, now GMNS Africa, babies. I see they bring on a. Uh, did I say Africa? GMNS Extra. We are only giving our rich, rich in and them. Especially important things the way this day get to affect you and me. I will talk to talk bonge people then will bring come. Make them follow on a yan. Give on a things because they say follow on a road. Content is key. Person will be say, mm, I can't know chick. I dare they head where well, where. Well. Now that kind of matter they now they bring for that. Well, um, when I welcome to this new season of GMLS X. Now what did they sit me well? Because you don't say well, I follow my people then talk. I don't say what I see on a chai. I miss on a well, well, shah. Eh, but make I go drink small water, drop cup. When I come back, I go enter the yan the way we get. And I go show now the fine person where I bring come house. I no go let the cat out of the bag get. After this break we they come back Welcome back. Now still on top GMLS Extra. Now you did on top your television. Wazovia TV. And I see your girl precious. I turn that give for inside this place. Well, I did what seems just the bother my mind very well. As country can't get as it can't be, can't be like say economy, eh? Economy where gyms. You know, my governor for that state where it be before then it's in a gyms. Where are ya gyms? Where are ya gyms? So as economy where gyms like this, I can't think of say it can't be like say everybody from Nigeria they vex. Everybody they vex. Some people say if you greet themselves, it'd be like say good morning, now go cause quarrel. So I can not think and say, this kind of character, if you can't carry an enter inside work environment, how this kind of attitude go can they affect people with that work environment? Now this kind of thing they cause bad belly for work environment. Or maybe ah, if you don't look and say, Oh, it better for you, it's not better for me. Or maybe envy, or maybe jealousy, or maybe a sharp frustration of the hardship where they land. Now it make people they cause this kind of bad belly for inside work environment. Where oh you both people they call toxicity for inside work environment. Now make a carry a bonge person. This person will carry come on, not be smart person, no, because my person will be say they give keynote speaking internationally. Do you understand what I mean? Go and Google it, you go see the name there. She be international keynote speaker. <laughs> she said, now growth coach, that is the person where they coach you until you grow. She said, she be speaker of all round and she be trainer. In fact, eh, this woman, a woman of timber and caliber with her sawdust. She turned that giriba well, well. And then Noella, Ugu, welcome her for me. I'm fine, Noella. I'm fine, precious. Ah, you don't tell. Thank you. I like the twinkle in your eyes and the smile on your lips. <laughs> and something tells me there's going to be an interesting conversation. Mm. It will be. Welcome. Thank Welcome. You. So, you know, see, when we they talk about toxicity, toxicity for work environment, some people, they feel they look and say, ah, which one be toxic again now? So, make it help us explain, first of all, because, you know, the person will go to school, before you answer a question where teacher teach you, you go first start by defining the key words, Abi. Mm. Uh -huh. So, make could define, what be that thing where they call toxicity? Try and help us. And also, the pigeon English, they add you, you know, so I don't say, <laughs> you're too posh. You're not, it's not within your, you know, comfort zone. But try and help us break them down to our understanding, make you understand. What is toxicity mean? Before we talk about how the use of work environment. Okay, so thank you very much. Toxicity. Um, toxicity in a word we come from the they coin them mm. from the word toxin. Mm. Okay, and toxin mean poison. Hey, now you say that bad belly will talk rich. Mm -hmm. mm. So and poison is spoil belly. Toxin mm. they kill self. Mm. They, they scatter everything. If I, anywhere where poison they, mm. not if it stand. Mm. You know? So if to toxin no make you sick, if mm. it kill person. So we are talking about workplace toxicity. Workplace, now where will they go work? Mm. Where will they go find belay? Yes, now. You know, the way we talk about Nigeria. Where they work, now where they shop. Let me call exactly. them work Exactly, workshop. Mm. A workshop, right? Mm. Thank okay, you. so your workplace, now the place where you they go work, you get paid, mm. collect money, Come take care of your family. Now, toxicity, na poison, way there for workplace. Mm. So workplace toxicity, na poison, way there for workplace. Mm. Okay? Or workplace way they poisoned. Do you understand now? Mm. So workplace where get poison. Mm. You will say that workplace is toxic. Mm. Okay? So workplace toxicity, na to say a place they poisonous. My workplace, maybe my workplace, God forbid. 
Say a and warm in my place. home to God forbid. I should try and give me my trunk come out. <laughs> my trunk come out outside. Mm -hmm. you see, now to say a workplace day poisonous. poisonous. Simple. Mm. So what will be the kind of signs where they show say a workplace feed day poisonous or not? Because mm. some people feel no even know, say the attitude within they give. An attitude with him make a workplace they poisonous. You know, some people they do things where they mm. don't understand the impact on others and even themselves. Okay, so the simple way to know whether your workplace they toxic or not. You know, sometimes people they write these kind of things for social media. Oh God is Monday. Oh, thank God it's Friday. Mm. So if your workplace, now that place where you go say, Oh God is Monday. Mm. Now if you say he gets something when they go well for that uh, place. Uh, see, see this Monday business, it'd be like mm. everybody, it'd be like a universal problem. Everybody they dread Monday. Not be me. Oh. Yeah. I don't dread Monday. Me, me Shannon, they dread Monday, but I don't they see Monday as I don't they dread days. Monday. No, if mm. you like your work, you go they look forward to go to work. Mm. Because now for work, we they spend the longest time of our day. So if your workplace, now please, we don't become like family for you. Okay, because they get people when us have make friends outside. Mm. Now for work, then get all their friends. Mm. And maybe some people they spend more time for work past to Abi. That kind Most of follow. Most people they spend. Oh, not be wow. say some people. If you they work, they spend more time for work than they spend for home. Well, it's just now where we don't begin. They do hybrid work. Some people mm. go work three days at work in the office, two days at home. Mm. But you if they don't go call grandma and a hybrid, it's in a uh, hybrid now when you mix something, something okay, okay. you mix so up, you work, some work from home, work remotely work in the for office, house more. you don't yeah. come remotely Absolutely again. No don't I like get from my mouth, self. Uh -huh. yeah. So, so let's leave the hybrid one first. Okay. So, if you be person where they work Monday to Friday, some people they work Monday to Saturday, true, right? So, yeah. if you be person where they work Monday to Friday, you leave your house by 6 a.m., you get home by 8 p.m. How many, how many hours you want to spend for a house? So you spend most of your time at work. So now for work, some people get their friends. We don't become family. Now, in that work environment, now the kind place where you know one come back to. Every day mm. you go home, you they fear, say you go go work the next mm. day. If you ever say you go go work the next day, your heart go skip. Mm. You know one go, you go to get sleepless nights. Oh, if no before the money, where did they pay me? I no go show up for that place again then that workplace is a poisonous place for you. Mm. Yes. Anything will go make you lose sleep, lose your peace, lose your joy. You they fear to go there. That place is a toxic work environment. So that means if you know if you know trace point on anything exactly of with course the you can. So you know if you just point out say okay maybe because the person will not like me oh, or maybe anything. Oh, he plenty. I be those ones in plenty. He plenty. Just point out one or two things. He plenty. So, so look out for, for those work environments. If you be say now the people where you they work with, okay. where they gossip two for seven. Yeah. People where they mind their business. And a little gossip here and there makes life go around. You know, yeah? when we they gossip about people, we say we they gist. But when now you wait there for the center of that gist, mm. we call them gossip. Chai. No be gist. Now on the paper, wait, wait. If you want gist, gist about the economy, gist about football, gist about the happenings around you. No, they bring person name inside your talk, talk, talk. You say, like, no be gist. You pass, they say she don't pass. He don't pass. Yes, say he don't divorce her husband. Yes, say he don't divorce his wife. Yes, say another man's wife in the car. You know, all those kind of things. This shoe where she wear, she borrow. Even this hair, self, no be her own. All those kind of things. And then we go call them gist. So that's one. Another one, we say, it gets some work environment where you don't even know waiting be your work and waiting be another person work. Okay. So no matter what thing you do, you know, be like, say you they work. You know, you know, when it is time for promotion, you go think, say, you don't walk, 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 tire. They go tell you, say, oh, no, that walk, where they do things, don't be something where you're supposed to. You get some organization, not when do they give their people paper, because when somebody employ you, then they give you a paper, what do they call job description? Yes. Mm -hmm. mm. For inside that paper, then go tell you the work where you supposed they do. And now this work, where they go judge you by, Mm -hmm. For example, because they're going to check the list of they're going to check them. If you don't do a rich like that, they go say you don't pay for you your don't do employment. Well. Oh. Exactly, mm. you be cleaner. We go tell you say this office suppose they clean by six thirty. If you don't clean by six thirty three, you don't fail. You don't fail. Mm. You go make sure say our trash can you they empty them all the time. But if you don't get that kind of job description, you go do what you have to do. Then at the end of the month or end of the year, when you think say you go get promoted, they go tell you say, mm, now your work where they do you know they do am well. 
they go begin to wonder, which thing I don't do well. I don't do as much as I sabi. Or they go tell you, eh, but you suppose they do that in a walk. They do gardener work. But nobody tell me, say gardener work, not part of my work. Uh. So this is another way. Another one is when you get a boss, madam or oga, when you go agree you drink water, keep cup. Ew. Everything you do, bad for their eye. Maybe the person don't like you, or maybe now you will not understand the person. Oh. Because this is about Oga and the person where they under her. It they cut both ways. Mm. So, so if you the person where they under, the person where they under, where they expect too much from a young okay. If it also be Oga, we not like the person where they under him. Because it gets some Ogas where the way you look, they threaten them. Or the way you they walk, they threaten them. Hmm. If they hear saying they like you, it could be like say you don't come collect their job. Ew. So that person go see you as an enemy for no reason. No, be say you do have anything particularly. Nothing. Just no like they are you. just afraid that everybody likes you. So that fear, they go they project them to you in the form of they go they day hash. This one, you don't scatter table of orgas like this. Some orgas go they look at the city woman. Oh yes. This woman who happen. send you make you open our secrets now. It happen. Save somehow. It happen. Mm. You know. So. Then go, not the way you do, we go good. Mm. Because they are afraid that you they shine too much. This one they shine too much. Very soon, I go there irrelevant. Ah. They, this one go come collect my, money, my, my chair, you know? So they go they frustrate you. Mm. And then there are other people who go collect your glory. For example, you get a junior worker, where they're very brilliant, intelligent, everything, creative. And this person go they bring brilliant and creative ideas to the table all the time. Now, or guy go go meeting. You go go sell that idea to management. You don't go tell management, say, now precious mm. idea be mm. this. You get somebody, one sharp babe for my team, we bring this idea. And I think this idea is a brilliant one. Can we implement it? In go go there, in go shine with the idea, in no go give credit to precious. To precious. Now, when it is, so if you don't give credit to your subordinates, how will management ever know Re that you or have even something? Reward the person. Or even reward the person. Mm. And so this person just sits down and feels unappreciated. And you know, you go think, say, they know they appreciate them. Mm. Do you understand? So this kind of thing go they turn in belly. After mm. all the research, why I don't make for this thing? Create this template. Nobody they even tell me thank you. And whether you like it or not, every human being wants to be appreciated. Even God wants to be appreciated. That's why God says, Praise me, thank me. Uh, God even vexed talk says if human beings don't give praise, I say you raise praise they made a praise. Do you understand? Now, now how much in like praise? Exactly. Mm -hmm. you no. Know? So that person go they wait, they put it on ground to hear when management go tell them, say, that your idea, fantastic. The next thing you go see that idea, then they implement them. The only person name where you go they hear now you're gonna. But, but nice. you know, but but I just say on the talk, say for work environment, say if a team succeed, now the leader of the team succeed, nobody. No, I just don't talk. No, no. They talk. What we I just they talk. Saying that the leader of the team. No, 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 no. no. When they talk, too. we say give credit to your team, but take the blame as a leader. That is yeah. leadership. Yes, give credit to your team, but take the blame as a leader. Mm -hmm. You don't take the credit as a leader. No, because you didn't make it happen all by yourself. You know, so that all these kind of things, and then it gets offices where then they build cartel. You know, they, they call them cartel. Mm. You know, people go build empire, go see one emperor, mm. or lord and master, untouchable. Or for prayer. Kabal. Kabal. For Thank you. Have for Buari time. Kabal, they say, you yes. know, they now again. Thank you. For this same government. Kabal. <laughs> you know, they go build Kabal. Yeah. So you go come office, get Kabal, and each Kabal go getting lord. Mm. So you call if it like you click. Don't click. Mm. If you don't belong to that click, nothing for you. No matter how you break your back. In office. Nobody go recognize you, they no go promote you, they no go recommend you for a bonus, for a raise, and things like that. And then there are people where their mouth not a poison. Ew. Then go they use all sorts of unthinkable and unmentionable words in the workplace. How you go look person, call them stupid for office. How you go look person, tell them, say, in they foolish. How you go look person, tell them, say, in head, no correct. Okay. 
Nothing there is like hey, But that one, you know, seen at the normal cost so the cost of No, 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 no. You know, the, that is hey, the problem. Like, yes, they get bad man, try from time. No, you know, now the word you just use, normal. Hey. We don't normalize them. Hey, see, Noella, just the calm down, no vex. You just like to make it a drive for Nigeria, mm. and a Lagos state, for example, make mm. it not get bad mouths. You know, mm. balance now. So as you carry the driving skill, you carry bad mouth, join them. So that person won't find your trouble. You go give them back, bus goes. Now, the normal Nigerian style. Well, you know, make them right. Hey. You know, make them right. You know, so we don't know, say you know, right. Now, you know, talk now. You know, make them right. for the bad mouth. Make me just stop them completely. Completely. No. Because we don't know how these things, they hurt people. We don't know how these things take away people's self-confidence. Mm. You keep telling somebody that they are stupid, stupid, stupid all the time. You're dumb, you're dumb, you're dumb. Mm. Before you know it, what we call imposter syndrome will set in. Imposter syndrome, now when person they good, and they no believe say in they good. Oh. Because all in life, in they hear say in no they good. Mm. So wait, now the way we basic toxicity they affect the well-being of people for work environment with this. Yes, go begin make them feel less of themselves. Yes. Oh. And they begin to disbelieve themselves, and they don't even believe in their abilities anymore. But does it affect health or Gee, does it? Oh, well, of course. Uh, it, it affects another well-being. It, it affects the. It affects health well because when people operate in a toxic environment, there's high stress level. Okay, and what stress does to your system is that it depletes your immunity. Now, your immunity, now those things where God put inside our body. Yes, immunity, now those things where God put inside our body, where they fight disease. So if the immunity they down, mm. your defense is down. So sickness we enter in Apollo, time. come, you say, Apollo, where they go? I they yell, come, come. Now for my body, you so, ah, you they pass me, you go come. Call her, I go come, the person will collect them. One mosquito go bite you. Now you go land for hospital for malaria. Mm. Because your defense system is very, very low. And that is because of stress. Now, we are moving to how it affects our health, exactly. right? Exactly. So part of what toxicity also does to people is that it makes them, some people even lose sleep. Yes. Uh, because but, you, you but go. But when you, I know it's normally all of us are Lagos, then they sleep. Some people, they sleep. Uh, I, they sleep. Why do you do like this now? I just sleep. Come and say our case is different. I just sleep. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I just sleep. Okay. I just sleep. Mm. You get people where go make you, even when you feel like sleeping, you go fit sleep. Mm. Once you remember that your mind goes spoil. Your heart goes skip. Mm. You go to remember all the bad words they told you. You go to remember all the good things. We suppose reach you for office when we we'll reach you. It is vex. So people cry in the night. Why am I being victimized? You get people with small error where they go make for office, small mistake, then go blow them out of proportion. Other people don't make mistakes where they bigger. Nobody talk about them. Now then they go drag go disciplinary committee for something very little. And you're wondering, now so they hate me. You can't be like, say their name no good for whistle. Exactly. You know? So when you're thinking about all these things, before you know it, 12 minutes I don't reach, 1 don't reach, 3 a.m., your eyes are Open. wide, you know? And you're just looking at the ceiling. Another thing where I forget to mention is that there are some people who are what we call narcissists in the workplace. Narcissists are these people, they think, say, the world, they revolve around them, that everything is about them. They are very, they use hurtful words a lot. And they always gaslight people. They use what we call gaslighting. Mm. Now, gaslighting is when somebody messes up with your mind so much so that you begin to think that you've lost your mind. You begin to question your own sanity. Hmm. You know the way somebody will tell you something like, you're overreacting because they hurt you. Maybe they told you you're stupid. And then you vex. And you vex. They call it, they say, boy, you overreact. I wasn't you know, supposed to, I'm not supposed to react before. I just said, I mean, I, I, what is that? You know, say you call them normal. Remember when you said that normal thing for Nigeria, right? They go tell you, say, I'm not be stupid when they call everybody. What is wrong with you? On the streets, we call ourselves stupid and mad. I just called you stupid instead. I beg, I beg, I beg. You deal with it. Your, your emotions are your problem. You know? Then you, you go, go for a mirror. They ask yourself, I do overreact. Everybody, where you see, go ask them you questions. You come again, question your sanity. Yes. What, Noel, I just hope break there. No vex, no vex. So <laughs> this one don't enter where, where. Because this kind of thing, that feel can affect the morale of the person to work at be. Yes. We'll go look at how it be. Say toxicity for work environment. Fit use affect person morale. Based on what you don't hear now. That's mm -hmm. now after this break, when they come back. <laughs> Thank you.
Welcome back. Now, still on top, GMNS Extra. Now, you did. Before we go on break, we'll be the Nyan with one Ubunge growth coach with her name, Nanuela Ugu. And she'll be done the Nyan us about toxicity for inside work environment. So, we bad belly where they happen for inside work environment. She don't tell us plenty of things, so she don't define the bad belly. Saying a poison way, be say, it's like poison where human beings and just put scatter scatter with character. We'll not be saying, I say, then cook poison, keep. The poison of character wouldn't just carry keep for inside work, work environment. So, they cause uh, bad belly for inside work environment. And the kind thing, the way they talk. So, um, before we go on break, Noella, you better try explain to us how this uh, toxicity now fits uh, affect person with the work staff morale. You know, say if person not get ginger to work, that uh, you be like say he get a bill. So you be to try explain that scenario to us. We will go back to that before I cut you. We'll go break. Okay. So workplace toxicity fit affects the morale of staff mm -hmm. because imagine say you they come work for a place where then they abuse you. Then they use hurtful words on you. You're stupid, you're dumb, you're hopeless, you will never do well. It's not me, but it's not my portion. No, it's not your portion, okay, my sister. Yes. Now, how you want to perform your best for that workplace? Well, I don't say they're stupid. Make a kukuma day now. So even if the person gets creative ideas, the person go keep them. Because anything where the person talk, they're stupid. Number two. When you they work for a place where person they steal your credit, they steal your glory. You bring idea, you labor, you make research, you create something fantastic. And then somebody else will go present them for management, collect the glory. Your name no go even, they no go even mention your name, not talk of writing your name anywhere. That you were the person who create this idea. It a pain. And how does it affect your morale? The next time, even if I see a creative way to solve problem, I go pocket them. Hmm. Person go keep quiet. Any suggestions, the one where I suggest, what do I carry and do? Then give me credit. And another person carry and chop promotion. Yeah, but people go talk, say, what's it going to pay salary? You know, to give you credit. So whether I'll give you credit or not, you know, go do the work. We are for? human beings because for work, you suppose they motivate the people where they work for you. Okay. One thing where we suppose understand the same, we know they work with machines. So we they work with human beings. So those small, small accolades, they're they important. Yes, it is part of emotional intelligence. You need to be emotionally intelligent, especially as a leader. Why you may not be able to promote people or increase their salary every time they want, there are many, many ways, non-financial ways to motivate people. Hmm. Say thank you. I see you. You're doing well. You're improving. You know, you're full of creative ideas. Even if those ideas are not implemented, thank the person for coming up with the ideas at least. Show some level of appreciation and recognition. Human beings leave their jobs not because they are not well paid, because they feel unrecognized. Some people have left uh, um, highly paying jobs to smaller places where they earn less because they feel appreciated, recognized, and valued. Hmm. You know, you know that way they call Maslow's hierarchy of needs? Hmm. When you pass food, clothing, shelter, mm -hmm. and you they go up, the next thing is self-actualization. You want people to recognize that you're doing well. It's very important. It's just like even a child. A child does something, you clap. And the child will be happy. He's happy, he won't do more. Hmm. Oh, you're eating very well this time. Many children you know they like it. Especially vegetables and fruits. Mm. So when they Voila. manage to eat one small portion of vegetable, you clap. The next time, he go one hear that clap again. He go ginger him. Then he go one eat more. Before you know it, the child will know the live vegetable will begin live vegetable because of the applause he gets. So that's how human beings also are. You know, adults. We are all human beings. So like I said, we must not forget that we are working with human beings. And so applying emotional intelligence in leading people is very important. And this, when we talk about workplace toxicity, I talk to leaders more than I talk to subordinates. Mm. Because the leaders are the custodians of corporate culture. They are the custodians of corporate culture. So when I talk about workplace toxicity, I'm speaking to the leaders. It is what the leaders decide would happen that would happen. Mm. They are the ones that reinforce the culture of the organization. And many times you see that the leaders are the ones who are spewing this toxicity all over the place. A junior staff cannot call somebody stupid and not get warned or even queried, you know? The person must be sanctioned. But you see, our leaders, now so they go you know, just they throw the words around like saying, na, na, na ground nuts in the share. And nothing happens. And then other managers, they go, they see these things, they keep quiet. Why? 
And you know the funny part? Many junior workers, as in they see you, they parade this toxicity, and nothing they happen. When they too become managers, now so they go carry them. Now when they meet on ground now, nothing happened. They learn from their masters. Some even become worse. Ah, they tell you now baptism by fire, relax. When you reach your third, don't worry. When you reach your third, eh, you go do them to the junior workers. You know the, the kind of things they used to do in boarding house. I don't know if it, 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 it happens these days. The senior boys will pour water on the floor and tell the junior boys to lie on the water. And then they say, they'll tell you, ah, in my time, now, now dirty water, then they pour. This one, now clean water, where we pour self. Lie down there. Don't worry. Very soon, you're going to become senior. You're going to begin to punish younger ones. Does he make it right? No. These are the things we see in the work environment, and it is, it's really, really dangerous. Hmm. Because not only does it hurt the employees, it also affects the bottom line. Productivity, income, revenue, and the entire performance ah, of that it even affects, How did one call you affect the bottom line? Of I course it does, because when you so have... So don't go fit reach our goal because of this kind of... Of course. Oh, when wow. you have superstars who have endured this toxicity for a long time, they just resign. Mm. And according to MIT, I, MIT Sloan, According to their research, I think they did that research two years ago, thereabouts, they said that workplace toxicity is 10 times more the cause of resignation in the workplace than salary. So people will leave an organization 10 times more because of workplace toxicity than because of salary increase. So even if you increase your salary and say, carry your salary, I know they do again. You can imagine that. When somebody goes throw your money for your face, say, I know do again. It is terrible for their sanity. For their sanity. So leaders really need to look into the toxicity level of the organizations. And we should not keep, you know, just um, pretend that it doesn't happen. It does happen. And sometimes we know that we are the toxin carriers. We know. So those leaders who have eaten at them, they do that thing. They mm -hmm. know, seeing at them, they get this bad Many of them know. They know. So what, oh, this matter don't serious like this. So what will be the things we will feed do if I the experience toxicity now, all of these things where you don't mention now for my work environment, uh, what will I feed do to feed help me cope, at least keep my head above the water while I stay there for that company? Okay, so what, what Since I don't get do? another job to run to immediately. Yes, so what you feed do be say, you feel share your problems with your coworkers. Not be those ones where go pour uh, kerosene for fire. Ah, not only slap, they slap you. Then kick me. Then share your problems with people. We go help give you solution on how to cope. They, it could be somebody could tell you something like, you know what? If person talks say you dey foolish, you you dey foolish. You say no. Uh -huh. Now then get their mouth now. So if they tell you say you dey foolish, don't believe that you're foolish. Simple. Uh -huh. Just shut your mind. Insulate yourself. You know, mentally just shut down. It's about them, not about you. Because not only you did the text say you did foolish. That guy, now the guy where they foolish because now so they call everybody foolish. And when you see, say, not be only you, this person they talk to like this. You go next say now the person will get problem, will be you. Another thing is try as much as possible to get a life outside work. You get some mm. people when only work, then sabi. All their friends now for workplace, all the enjoyment now for workplace. Try to get another life. You know, you can go to the gym, you can hang out with friends from other places other than your work, um, your colleagues at work, you know. And then try as much as possible to even read self-help self -help books that can teach you how to cope with stress, you know. Mm -hmm. And another thing is talk to a professional, like a coach. Tell them what you're going through at work. Sometimes you might just be the one whose expectations are too high. Okay, before before we reach the level where we talk to a professional, mm -hmm. which I go use no say I don't reach that level where you be say you don't need this serious now, and I don't reach that way be say if I don't seek help now, be like say I go lose them. When it begin affect your peace, mm -hmm. when it begin make something way, you know, when you get your job newly, you go do Thanksgiving for church, right? Now the the, the work don't they taste like like bitterly for your mouth. You wake up in the morning, now sadness fills your belly. At that time, you need to talk to a professional because it means that you cannot cope with this all by yourself. And talking to a professional, please don't think it's like, it's not ceremonial. You can talk to a professional on the phone. 
Just because I know how many people that call me all the time, Noella, I want to quit my job. I want to do this. Some people even call, somebody had even called me that I wanted to commit suicide. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, uh, wait. Toxic environment, if you reach that level, where person go want this suicide. If they reach. Hey, way. If they reach. It's serious like this. Right? Yes. Because all of us no get the same capacity to endure stress. Mm. It get people where their capacity to endure stress, they low. Mm. Yes. So you something don't stress them too much. Yes. It go affect their mental health much more. That it, it's just like when, let's say, smoke, they here. Okay? And all of us are coughing. You get people who go land for hospital. Mm. For inhaling that smoke. Or something for exactly. No for that side. You get some people when I, they, when I cough, the only thing where they, they just cough and that's it. They don't even take any medicine. They'll be fine. So everybody's threshold for enduring stress is not the same. Some people's threshold is so low, they can just tip over very quickly. So now be the thing. Okay, so um, is there any industry, particularly from your experience, obviously you don't coach a lot of people, a lot of companies and industries, so is there a particular sector or industry where we say, this toxicity for workplace plenty pass? I don't want to mention banks, because I know you don't do a lot of things with banks. <laughs> you don't also do with industries. So from your experience, you notice... You they notice whether you don't do any particular sector where you notice know, see this thing plenty pass. Well, I never will say it gets any particular sector. It is everywhere, even in the church. Equally. Even it's, church? Yes. House of God. Uh, yes. So they know they fear God. You there for church. Yay. You there for church. Some men and women of God go tell you, say, they know they treat them well because. So this, as long mm. as there are human beings, the human factor go there. Do you understand? Mm. And this human factor, part of the human factors, now this toxicity we will talk about. You get people where they carry toxicity around everywhere because now they life where they sabi. Some of these people grew up in homes where they know no love. So everything they know now fight, 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 fight. You know, survival of the fittest. So they go come to the office, then go carry that fight where they carry from house, enter workplace. And you're gonna wonder why is this person like this? Now they life where in sabi from home. Everything now fight, 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 fight. So the things in our fight and they carry win something everywhere in life. You know? So every industry has its own level of toxicity. Every. Big, small, one man business, so one billion man business. Every industry has its own level of toxicity. Mm. Yes. Okay. So um, you know, so as we don't talk about this toxicity thing, some people they feel see, some people don't come up with some kind of myths and misconception concerning and some people thought say, ah, in fact I don't even want to talk Gen Z people. Gen Z now, you don't say anything when you do them now. Mental you don't health. Affect them. <laughs> you don't affect their mental health. Yeah. If you do smart thing, they'll say you're toxic to me. You're to so I, I come on meet them. The things will be say maybe not be really true, but they'll be true, or maybe they'll be true about this whole thing concerning toxicity. So that we'll know whether people they really talk true about them, I be then just they drive them overboard. They talk the world. Maybe they, then they even cause the wahala. And then they talk, say, you they make the place toxic for them. So you they come on meet them about toxicity for work environment. We yes, to know. yes. There are some people who, who just blow workplace toxicity out of proportion. Oh. As long as you're with human beings, you don't expect perfection. You are not perfect too. I am not perfect as well. Okay, so it get people where the expectation of the other person, they abnormal. Hmm. Because it gets some people where you day lazy for work. Hey. And you want your guy to come and massage you. Ew. Of course, your guy will get upset. Well, I tell me something without telling me. It gets some people where every time you say, make we go right, then go go left. Then they, now then they break all the rules for the organization pass. Resume work by 7 o'clock. You show up by 7.30. No call Gen Z. No call Not only you. I know they call name. Okay. They know themselves. Okay. The generations then sabi themselves. Now them go come late pass. Now them go talk about traffic for the same place where all of us they operate from. Not only your house, traffic they happen. So people will tell you say it rain. Not only for your house it rain. It rain, everybody don't come work. Not only you they complain about rain. And you want somebody to pamper you. Some people like to be spoon fed. You no go fit solve any problem. You no go fit think. Everything, eh, madam, feel don't finish. So, do I look like a filling station? I expect me to tell and me, that say... that refinery you be, madam. Exactly. <laughs> I expect you to tell me, say, fill don't finish. Mm. One by 50 liters. One by and for AP filling station. We need 75,000 to buy it. Sign. Do you understand? So you come to your boss where they busy. And you're telling her, say, fill don't finish. Person where get short fuse, where 
we're already there angry. Maybe in a customer anger, or your own boss anger, or you get something important when they do, go just look up and ask you, do I look like a filling station? The next you say, you don't like me. I don't like the way she they talk to me. But now you, where they act like, you're not thinking. Mm. Your boss expects you to be a problem solver, not a problem generator. So they no employ you may call the cost more problem. No. For them. Mm. Now you will leave the load for their exactly. hands. Exactly. Mm. No, they come add load. And it gets some point where they know when to talk to their ogre. You suppose understand your ogre. Now, see, for every subordinate, now your work to understand your ogre. Not the other way around. Because mm. your ogre, they also try to understand your ogre. So now you go to manage your boss because your boss they manage him boss. Uh, but wait, how if you marry this matter now to the one where you've been talk say most times now your garden now they cause the toxicity. So no. even now your garden they cause the toxicity. Mm. How come them say they no go fit to make effort to understand the temperament of the people they work with? No, I no endorse make or no understand people temperaments. Okay. Now to use those words, now to call people glory, now to call people names. That is a no no. No matter I fit. Tell you, say, I am not happy with you without abusing you. Yes, I can tell you that I'm not happy with you, I'm angry with you. But I know God abuse you to the point where I go reduce your person. And you go begin to question your, 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 your credibility and your competency. No. But I can still tell you that what you did, you did this out of carelessness. But I'm not going to tell you, say, you're a very careless person. But what your work shows carelessness. I need to call a spade a spade. So you know that, say, now carelessness make you not do this work well. Just because I'm trying to preserve your mental health, don't mm. be say, I go, don't go, they, I go fear to the call mm. things. Right? I so, don't so call don't be saying you they tell the person saying no get the capacity to. Mm -mm. Don't be saying they tell the person saying they use less. Mm -mm. But just let her know, say, you get the ability, but you know, just pay attention exactly. enough. Exactly, now, now carelessness, carelessness make you lose this one. Mm. So next time, be more careful. You know, next time, be more careful. So, now today, it, we suppose they censor the word where they use. Hmm. Because words can kill hmm. and words can build. And I mean, they say, what do you don't give out? You know, if you take a back. No, if you take a Even after you say you did, sorry, okay, I don't agree. But the person could ask himself, so now, so you think of me. Even after saying you did, sorry, that word could remain with them. Hmm. So back to people where they blow mental health out or of talk, say, out of hmm. proportion, examine yourself. Have you done all you need to do? Now you will go commit error the most. Because you know they pay attention. You go to the office, you carry earplugs. You go say, I they like work when I they listen to music. Then you go bring your work, error, error everywhere. Sometimes your organ go there in a hurry, go present that work to management. Then go shred your organ into pieces. Mm. You think your organ will come back, come begin to massage you. No, now. And how your girl will respond or react, you may not like it. Your ogre too, a human being. So before you accuse somebody of being toxic, ask yourself if you are a toxic person too. Hmm. Hmm. All right. So um, as you talk and like this, uh, you don't. I know you don't hook some people for truth like this. They go only think up. Some people go only calculate now. I've been dead toxic. I've been doing like they go only think up for the hand. Mm -hmm. But maybe we go take break. Come back. When we come back, we go know the things. So it be say, even the employer fit to do to prevent, make himself not be the person where they cause the toxicity. And then those will be saying that they um, also employ people, the owners of company, they could know whether I get anything where be say company fit keep in place to use money to whether mm -hmm. this is our work environment. We get toxic toxic people inside. Mm -hmm. What will we do to sweep out that poison where they call toxic mm -hmm. uh, be toxicity inside our company come out? That's not after this break when they come back. Stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back now, still on top GMNS Extra. Now you day, and now your girl, Pre Pre Precious, like and like by here. Uh, before we go on break, we'll be the yan with Noella Ugu Ogbonge Growth Coach. She the yan knows the things where be say bad, bad left for work environment because well, you both don't even knock for grammar call and toxic city for workplace. Ah, that one not be small thing. Uh, before we go on break, Noella, you be the you don't yan us, you know, some people will be saying that then they even cause the toxicity. Gongo, they don't even know. And at their character, now they cause them. But more could look at the things the way be say person fit do on his own. If it be say, what thing I go fit do to prevent this toxicity? If I even want to prevent them, things we be say I need to do both as an employer or the person where be say I employ. You understand? So me where be employee now where they work for person. What thing I feel if I notice this environment they uh, toxic? 
uh, how go fit use manage myself out of them. And then, person will be seen at the employer, which will be the things we will feed do to, you know, come out ourselves for those stuff. Okay, you know, for the employee, mm. I don't talk, I'm saying, the person first, talk to your colleagues. Mm. You get some colleagues where they're positive minded. No matter, you know, you get people where fit exist anywhere. No matter what you do them, then go still survive, then go they thrive. Everything where they talk, if you like, call them stupid. Mm. Now for your, you go just bounce off their skin. You know they enter, you know? So if you have such people for office, just go and talk to them. Find out how they too, they cope. Mm. At least right now, you don't get another work. Not only this place where they collect your money, right? So, so before you even continue, <coughs> is it possible so if we prevent toxicity for work environment? No, you cannot prevent you it prevent completely them at because all. as long okay. as human beings operate there, there will be toxicity. Even okay. in the families, there are toxic siblings. Ew. There are toxic parents. Okay. Yes. Some children actually grew up in an atmosphere of toxicity. Okay. So they are an embodiment of toxicity. Okay. You know, so as long as there are human beings there, you can't eliminate it completely. But you can actually deal with it or curb it. Okay? okay. So as an employee, talk to another employer, share your problems. The person can give you ideas on how to cope. Two, I mentioned, get a life outside work. You know, hang out with people who ain't no day for your office. Just go, hang out, join some sports clubs, you know, basketball, swimming, whatever. Those things will help you to eliminate stress for your body. When you swim, I hear say swimming, I know if it floats. I hear say people where they swim, swimming is a very good way to remove stress from your body. You know, I wish I can swim. Anyway, that's story for another now, day. Somebody like me for I said the bottom. I know if it floats. Mm -hmm. So, oh. make we leave and forget. How we do now? How we do? Okay, no, we don't go sabi everything now. We move forward. Uh -huh. At least we get them out. Yeah, hey, yes. get something where we sabi. I know sabi that part, Thank and you. it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, then you can speak to a coach. Okay. By the time the coach listens to you, the coach go tell you whether or not you be the toxic person. Okay. Whether you do overreact or your expectation day too high. Okay. Now, coming to the employer. Exactly. It's very simple. As people, they enter organization, you need to conduct what we call onboarding programs. Mm. Induction, orientation. Now for that time within they enter, you go tell them the culture of the organization. Mm, like we know they like gossip here. Yeah. We know they like For here we know they call like names. Mm. For here we know they fight. We know they steal people credit. We know they take what don't belong to us. We know they gossip. We know they do this. We know they do that. As those people, they enter, they already understand the culture. You know, social studies that time tell us, say, culture is a way of life of, of a people. Of people, Lord. Ah, you go to school, Lord. I, do, I do. in front of class. I just sit down. Ah, you know. Mm. Now, only front of class, I just Now, there, and only me, I feel sit down. Uh -huh. Only that place, I feel sit down. Uh -huh. And, you know, for many reasons. One, because of say, sister, we're double. I secondly, you know, sir, I'm too tall. Mm. So people like us, we tall, we're, we're. Mm. we must be in front yes. so that I can block the rest of them. Mm -hmm. If you know, you know. We go ahead. Nothing, come on, don't worry. <laughs> so, <laughs> so mm. now, now, the organization, we go tell the people where they welcome in. Mm. Say, see our way of life, see our culture. But unfortunately, many organizations know they organize orientation for their people. Mm. No induction. As they employ you, don't start work the next day. You don't know your left from your right. You don't know what team be do's and don'ts. You don't know what team be taboo and what team be taboo. So you're going to hear toxic words fly around. You go think, say, they're normal. Because nobody, they shout. Mm. Then don't normalize them. That is the bad part. They don't normalize them. You know, it gets on the way somebody go talk. You go cringe. They go say, ah, where are you from? Come. Mm. I beg, I beg, I beg. Now, normal here now. Mm. They walk, they walk, they walk. Leave that Especially walk. if you don't walk another place before. Come, exactly. come another place. You're going to say, ah, exactly. this is you know? So, mm. there's no orientation. People know Sabi the culture of the organization be and all of that. And then HR. HR, human resources, then get plenty work to do. Mm. Human resources suppose they conduct survey every now and again. In fact, right now, we get programmed where I they run. Workplace toxicity, the effect of workplace toxicity on productivity. And we they offer that program free for corporate organizations. And it is online and it is 90 minutes. I feel do for come you. Do for me now. Yes. Okay. So anybody, when they hear me now, 90 minutes, it is free, it is online. Because a lot of organizations, they lose their best hands because of toxicity. And let me tell you something, superstars don't get time to tell you why then they leave. Mm. You call them, say, why did they leave? Nothing. I won't go do my master's. You know they do any master's? If they go another company, they, know, they, they feel like you sabi, why did they ask me? 
You don't say your, 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 your culture is toxic. You won't make the thing come off of my mouth. You don't know, say all your managers, and so then they bully people. You have bullies all over the place, you know? So many business owners don't even know how toxic the organizations are because they don't interface with the lower level staff. Mm. So you see very good hands leave organizations, you know? And you're wondering why. We just recruited people. In a space of six months, we've lost 20 of our new hires. What's going to tell you leave them? If they leave, other people go apply. What about the cost of recruitment? What about your brand reputation outside? It's very important to know that those people will leave your organization now, so they go, go, bad mouth you. Because people go, they ask them, why you leave organization where you just get work for four months? Leave those people, ain't nonsense people. This, that, that, and that, and that. So it don't reach when business owners suppose take survey. Ask the people where they work for. You know the way you do customer satisfaction survey? Mm -hmm. Carry out employee satisfaction survey. Mm. Ask questions. We go point to toxicity. They go to answer those questions without knowing that they are answering toxicity questions. Mm, without spelling it out. Without spelling it Maybe out. Maybe like say you force them to yes. talk. Yes. Mm. And make it anonymous so that people go fit answer questions freely. You know. So that way you go check whether your organization they toxic or not. And then you go come begin. And HR to talk about. suppose mm. they punish people where they toxic. Okay, because I've been wanting to ask you, see, how we go fit use? Because that is the em. only way you go fit stop them. And even make people afraid okay. to become the toxic Okay, so themselves. once you don't identify by the survey, these people mm -hmm. them now, through mm -hmm. the survey, mm -hmm. they can't tell HR to begin implement Absolutely. those kind of things. Because and with HR this, are not the police of the organization. And with this, you feel, say, the, the work environment is supposed to be free of that you kind of You know, go they free completely. Okay. Like I said, human factor go day. Okay. But at least we go no say not a book. Okay, we don't reduce them to yes. level. At least even person where they don't go don't know say this is what they do. He go feel they thing. feel fire me because of oh, okay. So you go they do um we corner our mouth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you so plenty. I don't say if I leave you, you not talk you do for a living. But the, the bad part come be say come meet with the talk also for a living. So me and you feel talk today till night come in. <laughs> Thank you so much, Nella. You don't give Thank us your you. time. You know there is you Thank to give you. me about almost one hour of your time <laughs> in this cast period where we say uh, time na money. Thank I appreciate you, you plenty, plenty. Thank you. Me that. Thank and you. Well, I will go. I don't follow Putman for talk. She and a uh, good uh, coach and a person will be say they even do keynote speaking for Obonga places internationally. And she they coach people on different different places for inside business. And I don't hear from her the way she talk. You will not say wisdom, wisdom, wisdom. Food that head where where she don't hear that plenty plenty. I hope the next time when I call you, you go answer me, Shah. Absolutely. Whenever I call you, you go answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, my people, I are here now go one break inside today program for GMNS Extra. Thank you to everybody who don't join her and body together to make sure say today matter move forward well well. My name is Precious Inye. I go show your face again next time. Enjoy your day.